Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to add picture frame on images using AI tool in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into using crop tool, using rectangular marquee tool, and using generative fill. So let's get started! So here in our document, I prepare here a Mona Lisa-like image. And our goal here is to put this one on a frame. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to go to the layers panel. Click on the background layer, then under the background layer, I'm going to unlock this layer by clicking this lock icon. So let's click that. Once I click that, it's no longer locked. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to expand the image with the use of a crop tool. So going on to the toolbar, let's go in to get the crop tool over here. Or you can just press C for the shortcut key. Now I'm going to start expanding this image. For it to have a same ratio, I'm going to press Alt, hold it, and then click and start dragging this one out, expanding the image, something like that. And also on top, press Alt, hold it, click, and drag this one. All right, expanding the image size. See? And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Well, moving back, going on to the toolbar, let's zoom this one out first. And then the next step we're going to do here is we're going to create a selection from the outside part of our portrait image. So to do that, let's first create a selection on the image itself by pressing Control, hold it, and click on the thumbnail layer of this portrait image. There are. So once I did that, it created an selection around the image now we're going to invert the image by pressing ctrl shift plus i now the selection is no longer on the image but it's already on the outside all right now the next step here is we're going to keep on adding selections inside all right so going on to the toolbar let's go and get the rectangular marquee tool going on to the options panel i'm going to click on this add selection all right, so we may now start adding selection. I'm going to add selection something like this. All right, there you are. Now that part is already selected. Also here on the left side. There you go. Also here at the bottom part. And of course, on the right side. There you go. All right. So we already ex extended our selection onto the image. Now, let's go to the contextual taskbar and click on generative fill. Now, let's type here the kind of frame that we want to our portrait image. All right, so let's say I'm going to add here a gold vintage picture frame. All right, so that's the prompt that I'm going to use and then hit on generate. Once done generating, so we already have here our different variations so this is the first one look at that now this now our portrait image is already on a frame amazing isn't it okay so let's go to the properties panel and let's check on the other variation okay so here's the second one all right now this one look cool and let's go to the third one all right the third one doesn't have any frame on it okay so if you want to keep on adding more variation just go and click on generate all right, there you go. So the additional variations. Okay, so here's the first one. Okay, well, this frame is not that complete from what I think. All right, let's go to the second variation as well as this. And here's the third variation. Okay, so if we have some things like frame that is not is incomplete, make a solution to that. Okay, so going on to the toolbar, let's go and get the crop tool once again. And then let's increase the ratio once again all right so press out hold it then add okay also here on top there are all right and then press control click on the proper view press control plus i to invert then click on generative fill without adding a prompt all right so here are the extensions of the image all right so this is the first one all right, now that looks completely. All right, so let's go into the second variation on the properties panel. All right, this one looks well. All right, something like it's already on a wall. And here's the third one with a white 
background on it. All right, so I'll go with the first variation. And let's zoom this one out. And that's how it goes. Now let me show you the before and after. This one is the before. And this one is the after. And that is how to add picture frame using AI tool in Photoshop.